This is the Jeep fuel, rail, and injection cover kit. Hey guys, this is Dean. Welcome to 5150. On today's episode, we're going to be installing this DEI um, Jeep fuel rail injector cover kit. This will help on reducing fuel rail and injector um, heat soak, reduce vapor lock, and keep fuel cool. So basically in this kit, we have these. These will go around the injectors, each one. This will help for heat. This is the shield. This will go underneath the manifold. Um, so it's kind of it in a nutshell. We also bought an extra piece for this. This goes on injector three to help uh, keep the uh, from vapor locking also. We are getting a chuck engine light. I can't remember the exact code. We cleared it, but hopefully this will help on that. So today we're going to go ahead and install this. And so let's go over here. I'm going to go ahead and just open the hood. garage also today we have Ryan working on his rear end he's got his Dana 60 all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing started Patrick will go ahead and uh, do all the mechanical work because he's much better than I am first thing we got to do is remove the intake just two slots Pull that out there. So this will rest. It'll go down over the manifold down in here. So we got to take out the fuel rail, take out the um, wiring harness for the um, fuel injector. So we're going to go ahead and start removing some of this stuff. So I think what we probably got to do first is remove. Um, we can move the uh, throttle cable. And does this have? Uh, Cruise control on this one? Uh, throttle and cruise. Okay. And then we're going to have to remove the fuel rail, but we'll depressurize that. But we'll get a rag and put underneath it before we. Um... Can we do that on this one? Nope. Oh. So I guess we really. There isn't a uh, Schrader valve? Nope. Watch your eyes just in case the fuel comes out. Okay. Now well, that wasn't too bad. So we got the hose removed. All right, so we're gonna remove the injectors. So you're gonna pull up on that red tab. You gotta be careful with the heat with these. They get brittle. So we're trying not to break them. So you pull that red tab up. And do we need to label those? Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and label those one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this bracket off that holds the cables for the um, throttle, or for the throttle. So there's a 10 millimeter right there. And it, right there. Gotta go. Oh, you're doing that. Okay, so this is three. Pulling with the fuel rail off now, Pepper. Mm -hmm. 
you want to pull these right over where they, you got to be careful not to break it. There we go. up so we can need to verify make sure none of the o-rings got stuck inside the injector holes so patch is going to check those right now where's the big touch don't see the o-rings just feeling if we feel any rubber in there for the o-rings or anything are they still on the... Yeah, they're still on the injectors. Right, just checking. So this is the shield. Right yeah, I think it goes like that. Be careful here not to break the plastic. These just kind of snap on some like head bolts or studs, some head type of studs. studs. Head studs. There we go. So we just shot a little bit of carburetor cleaner down in there, trying to clean these up. Just trying to clean up the manifold. Okay, we're gonna use some dielectric grease here and we're just gonna put it in this bag and just kind of mix them all up. Putting that dielectric grease on there just makes it easy to put on there too. I'll just kind of wipe it down. We're gonna do that for each injector. Sliding it through the little manholes. Yeah. One 
wonder if we're gonna have to cut one for that. Let's see. I think we're running into a little problem here with this sensor here. I think we'll just cut around it. like a thermal blanket. Nice little kit. DEI is who makes this, the manufacturer. Okay, got a little tag on it there that says DEI. Injectors. Put the clip on them. Just kind of work those on there and push those clamps on there. Seals. Wipe it down real quick. Wipe it in the seal whole thing here and get a nice shot of it. Okay, now we got to put the O-rings on the top of the injectors. Now, put the injector rail onto the manifold. And you'll feel it kind of snap into place. There you go. Nice and pretty, shiny. Bolt goes back on. That's so this is the shield we're gonna put on for injector three. Is this for heat or is it for noise or? It's for noise. Oh, yeah. It's for interference in there, right? Each one of these, there's six of these, we'll wrap these around the injector. So, it's right there for now. It'd be fun to put these blankets around each of these injectors. Is that number three? Another one? Let me just start with three. Huh?
need to. So we have to put these blankets on all six. Came out nice and pretty. Kit fits really nice, actually. Gonna hook up the fear well. Got that on there. That just pushes on. Lock. Put the lock on it. Put the cable bracket back on. And the other bolt is there. I just gotta snug them up. And then the next thing, once we get this all done, we gotta check it for leaks. Make sure we have no leaks. And we're gonna put a little bit of grease on the ball for the throttle. Helps put it on easier and just keeps it nice and smooth. So just go ahead and clean everything up. Patrick's just tightening up the throttle body clamp. This isn't factory, this is an air raid aftermarket. It is California approved by CARB. <laughs> Just gotta hook up the mass oil filter up there. Got the dielectric grease. Paper towel. Ready to start? Okay, let's go ahead and start it up. Make sure it's out of gear. Go ahead and prime up the, the fuel rail. Instructions are actually really nice or pretty detailed and full color. So, guys, I wanted to thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you learned something. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you for watching.